Hello everyone, welcome back to the Goody Life, where life is good and everything is great. And today's video is a little bit different, I'm calling it a bonus video. Recently, since quarantine, I have been doing a lot of live IG video, and it's really fun, so I wanted to share the last live IG video that we did this saturday so yeah. i hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you watch it all the way to the end and if you would like to join me in these live video <laughs> make sure you follow me on instagram at the goody life stephanie joined us hi stephanie <laughs> hey guys hi varun hi everyone hi <laughs> Happy Saturday. Yes, it's Saturday. Can you guys hear a little music that we have in the back? We have some salsa going. <laughs> <laughs> we are in California right now, but um, I'm originally from South America and my husband is from India. It's 6 p.m. here. 6 p.m. on a Saturday evening. 6 p.m. on a Saturday. Where are you from, Kendall? So we are going to get started, but we are completely dressed up for our date night. So we don't want to ruin our clothes. So we're going to put these on to cook right now. So are you going to wear yours or are you sure, going to bring I'm your fancy now. clothes? <laughs> I have to put on enough in this. Yeah. Oh, it's 2 a.m. UK. Okay, wow. Ah, you're you're up, late. up late. <laughs> well, hopefully... We don't make you too hungry to where you have to go cooking now. It's 7 a.m. in India. 7 a.m. Yeah. Oh, thank you for tuning in, guys. Even though it's so late, your time. Or early. Or early. It's morning for some of you, yeah. Hi, Success Wheel has joined us. That's Nikhil. Nikhil. Hey, Nikhil, how are you? Hi. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do... It's our date night and it's Saturday and we have to get our drinks going, okay? So let's... Meanwhile, do you see Goody's apron? It says her name on it. Oh yeah, check out my cool apron, guys. It says my name depending on which side you're reading it. But yeah, it has my name on it. I know. I hope I don't make you hungry because I'm going to have to send you food over there. But you know what? You said it's 2 a.m., right? You can definitely drink. If you are out clubbing or partying people would be drinking at 2 a.m. so maybe get yourself a drink so today since we kind of have like a little bit of Spanish team going on oh yes I will say hi to Jordan hi Jordan I know there's a handsome fella here by the name of Jordan and he's joining us can you say hi to Jordan hi Jordan yes we're so glad you can join us buddy hi Cassandra all right, so we are going to make the tequila sunrise. So I'll show you guys how to make that. What is tequila sunrise, Goody? It's a drink. It's an alcoholic drink, uh, mostly from Mexico. Uh, yes. It has tequila in it. So this is from Mexico. You can use any tequila you like. You're welcome, Stephanie. You can use any tequila you like. You basically put some ice in a glass. Nikhil is asking, what is this? So, Nikhil, we are making a tequila sunrise, and the first thing you have to get is some tequila. You can use any kind. I'm just using this one. When we went to Mexico, we got this, so we're using this one. Hi, Modish Mary. So, you're going to add one shot in each. Ooh. Increase the music a bit. Can you lower it so they can see the bottle? Yep. How about I put it here? Yep. Hey guys, we're we're making a tequila sunrise. Um, is it sherry or do you go by Modish? <laughs> and then the next thing you're gonna do once you add the shot of tequila, you're gonna fill this baby up. You want this bad boy to go right about there. Well, maybe not fill, but close to... What is that? Is that orange juice? Orange juice, yes. It's orange juice. Atul wants me to list every single thing off, guys. And then you're going to give it a stir. 
and quick stir. Once you stir that, you're going to get, what is this, a tool? So this is grenadine, it's just a rose syrup. It's a rose syrup to give it the sunrise look. If you want to give it the sunrise oh, look, sorry. leave it there. You have to use this, so we're going to add some of this in it. Yep, just like that. Oh my. How does that look guys? That's a tequila sunrise for you. And if you like, you can add some slices of orange on the inside. And no drinks look more fancy than when you add straws and fruits on the top of it. And cheers, do you guys have a drink? Cheers. Happy Saturday. So this is the tequila sunrise. Yeah, I really like it. We're, we're professional Ooh, bartenders now. We're yeah. bartenders now. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is good. So when we drink, I might start dancing to this music, okay? So if you hear the music in the background, that's just getting me going. While Atul is going to start his next prep for you guys. What am I doing? So, I'm making some you want, fish. He's going to bring his fish out. He's doing the mahi-mahi. Yep, so I'm making the... So I'm making the pan-seared mahi-mahi. So I have some mahi-mahi fish here. Um, you know, you can just get any mahi mahi fish, and I have it. I have it washed and everything. I have it uh, patted dry. And basically, you know, this this recipe you could probably use for any anything actually. Honey, someone mm -hmm. said something. You want to be in the video? Okay. All right, and. I just do some pepper. So this is black pepper that he's adding here. Some salt. And I'm doing it, uh, you know, a generous amount because I'm going to flip it over as well. Uh, then I have some cumin powder here. Ooh, smells good. Mm -hmm. That smell really good, guys. And then I have some ginger powder. Oh. So how long do you marinate this for? We can just leave it for five, ten minutes. It's, I mean, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't need to stay long. Okay. And I need something else. Okay. Uh, I need paprika. This is Oops. cinnamon. I gave him cinnamon. And then I'll need the oil as well. Do not give your husband cinnamon for paprika. That's a big mistake. Hi, Abby. Hi, we're good. I hope I said your name correct. <laughs> and then just a little bit of olive oil. All right. I'm going to bring this up close up to show Hold you guys on, the marination. And then I'm going to rub it in just with my bare hands. Make sure that it goes in nice and deep. By the way, this is the first time we are actually making Mahi Mahi fish at home. We've eaten it outside uh, many times. And I'm gonna flip it as well so the back gets some as well. And this is this has the skin on it on the back side. And this becomes really crispy once you make it. Um, I know because we make for it for salmon as well. We would try. We do similar thing for salmon or you know any other fish too. Uh, the good thing about fish is that you know it, you don't need to keep it marinated for a long time, or you don't need to cook it for a long time as well. It gets done really quickly. Yeah. Has anyone tried this before at home? Have you tried making this fish before? We're making it for the first time. We're doing mahi mahi. So that's that. I just you know have all the seasoning in it, and I'll just leave it here for a little bit. So while that's marinating, we want to make, we also had for you guys, which I didn't write online, was a dessert plan. So we wanted to do a chocolate mousse. So we're going to do that first, and then we're going to move to making this um, corn and avocado salsa. You never tried it before? Okay. 
How's people's weekend been? How is everybody's weekend? What's everybody's plan for the weekend? Have you guys been up to anything? Oh, you missed it. We made a um, tequila sunrise. So basically we added one shot of tequila in here, orange juice, and a syrup. What's the syrup called? Gran Granadine. Granadine. It's yeah, it's a rose syrup. So we add that with some ice and that's it. <laughs> oh no, you're allergic to fish. But you missed last week when we made chicken. <laughs> we made some lasagna last week. Yeah. So I was asking, what's everybody's doing for the weekend? Is anybody doing anything fun for the weekend or just chilling out at home? How is quarantine treating everybody for the weekend? This is week 10 for us being at home. And since week 10, we have been doing Saturday as a date night. So then we do our cooking. So we thought we do the cooking live and get to know some of our followers. So we're gonna move into prepping the dessert. the dessert now, okay? So you have some whipped cream? Yeah, so I added some whipped cream to the bowl and this is just to melt our chocolate chips. So we're making chocolate mousse. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna put this in a microwave for 30 seconds while I will show you guys the rest and I'm gonna be back with this in 30 seconds. Actually, let's, um, let's okay. All right. So this is one of my favorite. It's really easy to make dessert. As you saw, you know, she just put the whip, heavy whipping cream, um, a little bit in a bowl and uh, you know, she was uh, microwaving it for 30 seconds. But while that happens, I'm gonna put a cup of whipped cream, whipping cream, heavy cream, in the bowl and I have this hand blender with me and this thing really works magic let's hope this thing don't just blend this thing everywhere on us here you go yeah. I'll let you do that while I come all right out. and this is gonna get a bit noisy so bear with me I think this got hot a bit too much. Mm. Uh, but it should be okay. Should be okay. So as you can see, it's starting to get fluffy already, and Goody's gonna pour that in here. We're done. Okay. So this is the chocolate, guys. Melting chocolate is easy. That's good. Okay. All of it. Okay. Scraping all that goodness, that melted chocolate goodness. Yep. Yeah, the stores are opening back up, so you're getting to go out and shop.
don't and we are not professional chefs actually <laughs> you know we just do it for fun we just do it for fun actually atul is really good so i'll show you guys what the chocolate mousse look like and then and then i'm gonna just pour it in these cups yep and we're gonna set it in the fridge for a little bit yeah oops Oopsies. that's okay let me get the napkin See, where we talked about we're not professional chef, we just spilled it. <laughs> yeah. We spilled the secret and the yeah. uh, mousse. Take your time. Oops. Okay. That's good. All right. Good. Gotta fill that up. Yeah, I'll fill that guy Can they put on top of this once it's set? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna, so I'm gonna put these in the freezer, and then one, they can be there just for maybe 30 minutes or something. And then once we are ready, I just bring them out and I put some cocoa powder on it, and we're ready to eat. Yeah, that's a quick way to make dessert. Just if you have heavy cream and some chocolate at home, you just mix it up and you get a quick dessert. So I'm gonna move these things out of the way so we can move on. To the next step i know somebody told us they're shopping i think zulfi it was you so that's good that you're able to go and shop we haven't gone out anywhere yet but hopefully soon we can so that's why we're doing all these live videos so we can chit chat <laughs> zulfi has a bigger reason for shopping oh so that's, yes that's, the reason that's why she wants right to shop. that's right i'm not gonna say it because i'll leave it up to you so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the salsa. So I'll bring over the stuff. Hey everyone who joined us just now. Yes. Just check this out guys. Doesn't this look so cool and healthy? It looks super healthy. So I'll get your board for you. Mm -hmm. So I, so we are making a avocado mango and corn salsa and this is gonna go it's 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 gonna go on the fish the fish i mean this is gonna go on the plate and the fish is gonna go on top of that yep, that's a side. really very simple easy thing to do the only hard work here is going to be cutting all of these things but i have a mango i'm not going to use all of it but i'm going to use part of it i have a nice avocado i have corn and i'm gonna cut it i have some lemon i have a tomato I have some onion and I have some cilantro here. So you guys can watch me cut these. And, and tell us what it is, Zofi. You said, guess what? So what is it? Probably don't need this. Do anybody have any quick prep meal that you also do? while you are at home and you just want to make something it's really easy to make like a fancy meal where you don't it's like right now how we're not able to go to the restaurant and stuff like that um you know you have to have a few things where you can just make it to where it looks nice and where it's easy for you to do at home That's amazing. You got your um, wedding gown today. Yay. Oh, wow. This wedding is going to happen after all. Hey, good to you. Hey, Nikhil, how are you? Good, good. How are you doing? In. Good, good. We are cooking, we're dancing, and we are having tequila sunrise. Oh, wow. That looks so amazing. Delicious. Uh, tequila sunrise. Uh -huh. Nice, nice. Tequila sunrise. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that looks yeah. so good. What yeah, are you guys see? doing? <gasps> hi, hi, handsome. Ooh. Hey, Rian. Hi. How are you? <laughs> good. Hi, hi Sonam. Sonam. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good, good. We're just cooking and having a good time right now. <laughs> awesome. Can I show you my uh, what we are cooking right now? Yes, yes. yes we yes, want to see. Show us. This one. Can you what? guess? Is that um, Sabudana? Uh, two, I, yeah, exactly. Wow, you're smart. <laughs> that is, 
That's so good. Yeah. That's that's one of Goody's favorite things, Nikhil. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I like yeah. to have that. So we make it something, especially on Thursdays, because we don't really eat meat on Thursdays. We're vegetarians on Thursdays. So mm. It's like our veggie meal for Thursday. By the way, those of you who are here, I know some of you, and Nikhil has a great success wheel YouTube channel where he talks yeah. about um, building skill sets for talk, for speaking, right? Public speaking. Yeah, yeah, public speaking. Public yeah, speaking. if anybody wants, feel free to check that out. Yeah. And Nikhil, Nikhil Sonam, and uh, Rian, they're based in uh, Oregon. They're in Portland. Right. Mm -hmm. So what yeah. are you, how have you guys been doing since the lockdown, Nikhil? What are you guys doing to stay busy? We're cooking, we're doing live videos. We just finished our exercise. Now, uh -huh. what, this is our schedule, like losing 100 uh, calories mm -hmm. and then gaining 1,000 calories. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah. after that. Okay, uh, guys, I'll let you guys uh, cook and uh, keep continuing on that. Yes, keep thank you for it. joining us. Thank you. Bye. 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 All right. Bye. Hi. Okay, so I have some corn here. Yes. So he's cutting up the corn. This is sweet corn, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this this um, salsa or salad, I, I actually don't know what to call it. You know, I think it's a mix of salsa and salad because it has so many greens in it. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll get the avocado meanwhile. And you just add this into a small bowl. And if you're cooking for two to four people, you don't really need to use a lot of ingredients. It's really quick to put together. It's easier for us when we're cooking for two, right? Yeah. And I'm as as you can see, I'm not using all of it. I'm just using, you know, enough for the two of us. Yeah. This avocado is nice and juicy. Yeah, it's good. It's ready for the salsa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then some lemon some lemon juice just gonna pour it in here okay and then some coriander what i like about this is it really looks nice beautiful and colorful oh, yeah. on your plates yeah it is very uh, yeah. colorful once i mix it up i'll show you guys because all the color we're adding in here green red yellow i mean a mangoes also make stuff taste really well i have yeah, a salt mm -hmm. yes you want to add in the salt and pepper baby mm -hmm. so if you add that in there i need the spoon That. Then some salt. You're eating mangoes right now. <laughs> That's Olive great. Oil. Olive oil. Okay. E V O O. And, and then you some... just dash some olive oil. Olive on top oil. Of it. There you go. Mangoes are good right now too, especially when we're going into summer mangoes, watermelon. Yeah. Any other married couple here with us or single? I know one person's getting married. She just got her wedding gown. Last week we had somebody who just got married. Yeah, they got married in their backyard. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. And then we're gonna put it on the... So you put it on the plate and then you add the fish right on top. So I'll show you guys really quick before we start the fish. I wanna show you for those of you, if. You're a couple or you just want to have a quick date night at home. How to spice up your table or how to make it look nice just for an evening for two people if you're not going anywhere. 
So I'll move the camera over. Can I switch this camera? Yeah, you can just take it like that. Okay. okay. So check out how easy it is to set up a table for two person. These are my favorite. I got these actually at the Dollar Tree, so they're just a dollar. But look at how it changed the end total table area around. It just makes it pop a bit more. And just from certain decoration that you have in your home, like we have our names for when we were getting married, we had the initials. So we just used that. We added a candle, some nice glasses, and it just sets the evening and gives it a little bit more of a spark. So that's how you set up a table really quick for two people who want to have date night at home and who wants to do something for fun. So when we're done with this meal prep, we're going to go straight over there to enjoy our meal. Are yes. you ready? Yeah. I okay. have a pan. So I'll move this over here. here. So we're about to make the fish, guys. Thank you. Um, what, what's your name? Um, is it Sherry? Mo the mode is Sherry? What, because I don't... Mary. Mary. Oh, it's Mary. Okay, Atul told me your name is Mary. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Okay, so what are you adding in? So I just have a pan here. I'm going to add some olive oil to it. And again, you know, uh, not professional chefs. So if we make any mistakes, we're just doing it for fun. Yeah. yeah. And then I have the fish here, which we seasoned earlier. I have uh, cumin, salt and pepper, some paprika, as well as some ginger powder and some uh, olive oil on this. And this is uh, mahi mahi. So I'm going to put it here on the pan so it goes the meat side up meat side back so skin side up down. yeah no uh, we do it the other way okay. yeah and then just this guy right here and this this thing gets cooked really fast uh, it takes less than five to seven minutes if this is a very good quick dinner looks fancy it tastes fancy and once once you put this you're just gonna eye it to make sure that the fish starts turning opaque and once it is opaque on that side then you'll turn flip it back And once I flip it back, I'll add some more butter and I have some garlic here as well. So we try to give it a nice little seasoning. You can hear the searing. <laughs> yep. Does anyone else here eat fish? Do we have any seafood eater with us? <laughs> fish lovers. If you're vegetarian, forgive us. I know. As my wife was saying earlier, we only are vegetarians on Thursdays. And even that is a lot for us. <laughs> it smells really good too. Yeah, yeah. It smells really good. Yeah. And as I, was, as I was saying, this is really the first time we're eating this fish. Yeah. So it's really good. Seafood lover over there. Oh, nice. So you're really going to like this then. You have to try it, Mary. Yeah. And they have, they have a few more easy, very easy recipes because we were looking for one and we we're trying to see you know, if there's something else you can do too. Mm -hmm. and they have a couple more easier recipes yeah. than this as well. And it really makes it fancy. It feels like... <laughs> the Sandra is saying that she missed this. Oh, yeah. My dad is good at making fish too. So, <laughs> Except now he's a vegetarian, so... We're not getting any more fish from him. <laughs> How's the weather been where you guys are at? It's quite warm where we are. 
Yeah, it's been really hot. And it's uh, opaque, so I'm gonna flip it the other way. And as you can see, you know, it's nicely turned around. Pretty golden. That way, and you once you turn it, you want to flap it up, dab it a bit. The reason being, you don't want the skin to crinkle up. So you dab it a bit, um, else the skin is going to crinkle up, and uh, your fish is going to look like crumpled. So that's why make sure that you dab it. It has a flat surface on the bottom. And while this is happening, add some more butter and add some garlic. Oh, that's gonna make it really good, huh? Yeah. And this is just all minced garlic. I didn't add all of it. I'm gonna just add a bit. Look at this side as well. Are things opening up in Ohio? We can do this. Actually, let it let the garlic cook and then I'll drop it on top. Mmm, smells really good here. Yeah, it really does smell really, yeah. really good here. Yeah. We've been watching this show called as Health Kitchen. I don't know if you know, <laughs> yeah. you know Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. And some of the executive chefs there, make, they make so many mistakes and have their fish uncooked and everything, and we really get freaked out. Imagine Gordon Ramsay was here. This is what we have been binge watching is Health Kitchen. So we're cooking. Everything now. And this is not Hell's Kitchen, though. This is, yeah, at least we're not having the chef yell at us as much. <laughs> this is my chef, so when I'm prepping, he's always telling me what to do, though. So, you know. I'm the chef who gets yelled at. <laughs> Those look good. Yeah, so I'm going to bring this back over here. I'll bring it first. No, hold on. So as you can see, this is almost done. You know, I'm just pouring the hot butter, oil, and garlic mix on top. Yes, and that's that. And this fish is done. I'm going to move it out, but it can stay there for a bit. While that is cooling down, we're going to prep the plate. Okay. Okay. Oh, I had the camera spun around. All right. So you want to plate this up. If you guys are just joining us, make sure you grab a drink. We made our drink already. So yeah, it's really quick and fish cooks super fast also. It doesn't take a long time. So let me start putting. So this is the salsa we made, the corn and, tur um, corn and avocado salsa. We also have some mangoes in here, onions in here, coriander. And you just plate it. So you want to make a nice bed of the salsa on your plates. It's ready. So the fish is ready. See how my um, chef is ordering me? Spread it more. Spread it more. <laughs> he has to supervise here. Okay. Should I bring your fish over? Okay. So that's that. And then I'm going to put the fish on top. Here we go. And then I'm going to put some of this garlic butter on top as well this is smelling so good right now especially the garlic you can really smell that and you can smell the um salsa also that's on the bottom this is going to be good and ta-da that's it guys and that's what it looks like
Hopefully the phone doesn't fall in it. I know. Any questions for us? Do you guys have any questions for us or else we're almost wrapping it up. Dinner is ready. We want to enjoy it while it's hot. We have our dinner. We have our drink. Yeah. So cheers. Cheers, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed being in here with us today, cooking in our kitchen. And I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Make sure, make sure you make these drinks if you can. You can order all this, the syrup and stuff like that on Amazon if you don't have it so you don't have to go to the store but try it out it's super good especially during summertime and I'll see you guys next week we'll be back next Saturday yeah we have been enjoying this and I hope you guys are enjoying this so we're gonna keep continue doing this yeah. uh -huh. if you make it next weekend Mary let's time together so that way we'll call you in live and you can show us how you're doing it while we're also meal prepping okay mm -hmm. All right, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye. Bye. Now. Bye.